What's going on gamers? Today we are going to go over how to install and use the levitated Minecraft mod pack. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. When you think of a regular game of Minecraft, you tend to think of it as more of a peaceful game in comparison to others. There's a lot to do and a lot of ways to get what you need to progress, and while that's great, some players are looking for a little bit more of a challenge. There are of course hundreds of mod packs to fix this, but today we're going over the levitated mod pack, which completely alters the default game to make you start in the end dimension. The amount of resources are scarce and hard to obtain, and with floating islands to keep you at bay, trying to survive in this harsh environment is definitely a challenge to be prepared for. If you're ready to take it on, then let's go over how to get started. Before doing anything, you're going to have to install the mod pack on an external launcher, which will be CurseForge in our example today. Head towards the CurseForge app page and download the launcher for your operating system. Once this is done, you can save this file on your computer and then open it to start installing the app. After it's installed, open that launcher and click Browse Mod Packs in the menu. And then in the search field, you can type levitated and press install to start the download. Once it's done, all you have to do is click play from the My Mod Pack section to see if it works. To install it onto your server, head towards your Apex server panel and stop the server. And then scroll down to find the game file section and open the drop down menu and search for levitated. Select it and then continue to change the version and choose to generate a new world, and then restart to load the mod pack. Wait for the server to load, and then go back into your CurseForge launcher and join the game through the levitated pack. As soon as you enter the new world, you're going to immediately notice the difference compared to a normal Minecraft game. The biggest change is obviously starting in the end, but this version allows players to survive the dimensions challenges. To help, there are required items spread throughout the islands that give you necessary equipment to advance. Exploring is difficult, but collecting resources is even harder due to how scarce they are. There are semi-hidden features that can directly correlate to your survival, so that's what we're going to focus on. Brand new players are going to get a Tome of Origin, allowing them to set a spawn point to instantly teleport back to when they die. This can be set once and only once, so your first step should be creating a base before you actually use it. As a new user, you're also going to get 16 ender pearls for transportation since the end is full of floating islands. Speaking of ender pearls, the most common resource that you'll encounter is the ender lily, which holds an ender pearl inside. This makes it possible for you to reach end cities, different islands, and general transportation around the world. These are scattered around the dimension, but they only appear on endstones. Since there are no normal trees like in the overworld, collecting wood becomes a bit different than the normal gameplay. You are going to need to break end stone blocks to obtain end shards, allowing them to mine logs. This automatically turns into planks and allows you to make a crafting table, which is going to be used to create more complex tools and materials for later gameplay. Other interesting materials are located in special buildings and structures, such as a water block temple. These will have a single chest containing a lot of items that might help your progression. They are somewhat rare though, and you'll most likely encounter default or alternative structures instead. The most common building you're going to find is this shack-like structure, containing living materials such as wood, stone, and flowers. These are considered overworld resources, which is obviously a rarity when you're in the end. There can be up to two chests found in them, which tend to have better loot compared to other structures, but don't expect too much when you open them. As for the exact items found in those loot chests, this depends on the structure that you raid. For example, materials from a temple could be engineering equipment, cosmetics, armor, or gems. These things aren't going to be too helpful in the early game, but they will come in handy later. However, end cities contain the most valuable loot and should be prioritized above all else. This is where players can collect diamond enchanted tools, weapons, and more. In cases where players die, they'll turn into a ghost with a key. 
By getting back to your grave and using this key, you can either right click or crouch to interact with the tombstone to collect your loot. Players won't easily lose items with these grave keys, making it an extremely useful feature that Levitated offers. That being said, this can only be done once, and if you lose that key, then you're going to lose that death location. These keys can also be configured to allow players to teleport to their grave site instantly. To enable this, you're going to want to enter into the FTP file access, click on the config folder, and then press edit next to the tombstone CFG. Change the chance enchanted grave key setting to 100, and then you can save and restart the server. If your server's crashing, then there might be too many machines in a particular region of the game. If it crashed with this scenario, then restoring the world to a backup would be best, but most of the time it can be resolved by simply restarting the server from the panel. In rare cases, crashes might come from internal issues with the mod pack. If you suspect this, then delete the config, jar, and mod files from the FTP panel. After that, just generate a new world and restart the server. If you or a friend is unable to join, make sure that you have the latest version of the mod pack installed on the CurseBoard launcher. The levitated mod pack on our server is always the latest version, so that's the one you'll want to look for to make sure the game starts with no problems. This mod pack will definitely have you wishing you were back to playing the regular game, but at the same time, you won't be able to look away. It presents you with a different challenge while also completely changing your scenery, giving you something new to find at every turn. That's all for this one, gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.